Well, we are in a particularly remote part of Portugal, a particularly noisy remote part of Portugal, I'll have to add to that. Uh, just have to excuse the dogs for a minute, but we are here with the Miranda factory race team and, oh, quiet, and taking a look at the bikes of pro riders, uh, Tiago, Tiago, Tiago. Tiago Lodera and also Laura Charles. So what have we got then folks? Well, we've got the KTM Prowler Prestige, 180 mil traveler front, 170 on the rear, 20 on the front, 27.5 on the back. And uh, in terms of the rubber on the bike, um, Tiago has got a Minion DHR2 in a DH casing, triple compound obviously. And up front, we have got that fantastic tire, the Maxxis um, Asagai. 2.5. Now in terms of size, uh, Tiago is 172 centimeters and is riding a size large bike. Uh, oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, come another oh, one. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared no, because it's, three it's dogs. Not, it's, not, it's not about you, it's about the dog. <laughs> Did you film that bit? <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the geometry numbers first of all before we go into the detail. Now the reach on this bike is 462, head angle 64, seat tube angle is 75, chainstay 442 and a 349 millimeter bottom bracket. You impressed with that memory? Yeah. <laughs> Now in terms of suspension uh, on this bike, we've got a Fox 38, 180 mil travel of course, up front, that's an e-bike specific, and on the back is the Air Fox Float X. Uh, Tiago, uh, just a quick question, uh, spacers, front and back? Uh, on the front, two bloom spacers, 98 PSI, and on the rear shock, three volume spacers and 145 PSI. Okay. okay, so let's start up front in the fine detail and work slowly backwards. Now, there's a tag bar front, it's alloy, and uh, I think it's a 760, but that looks a bit wider than that, right? Yeah, it's a 760 handlebar, but because the grips have 0 0.5, now it's 770. Okay, right. That's why I'm cutting 760. Yeah. So grips wise, uh, Tiago's got the Brendan Faircliff, Faircliff death grip up there. Uh, brakes, we've got Shimano XT. So disc wise, there's a Galfa 223 mil up front and a 203 uh, mil disc on the back. The wheel set is DT Swiss EX 511, and that's uh, a complete aluminium package, 32 spokes. Uh, and I think, I do believe that the internal width on that rim is 32 uh, millimeters as well. Cranks being a Miranda factory race team, the cranks are very important on this bike. Uh, and if you haven't already seen folks, we've been out here testing what is the ultimate crank length for an EMTB. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check that one out. Um, Tiago, we talked at length about cranks, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and uh, if I remember, you've got 160 deltas on there, haven't you? Yeah, 160 with 36 chandering. Yeah, and but you do you, you do actually change the chain rig sometimes during a race, don't you? Yeah, I have changed it last year. I running normally with 165, and for the power stage I changing for 160. But now I prefer running all the time with 160. Yeah, now guys, uh, ch chain ring size actually blew my mind. So we've been out here on some amazingly grippy rocks uh, in in Vuzela in in northern Portugal, and. Uh, yeah, it just blew my mind just how much difference it makes having uh, different crank sizes. The cassette on the bike is a 1045 from Shimano and the derailleur is a Shimano XTR. Uh, Tiago, what about pedals on the bike? There's a Shimano too, right? Yeah, Shimano XT pedals. In terms of the seat, uh, Tiago's got the um, SRAM electronic axis seat post on there, 150 mil. And if we move forwards, we can see that uh, he's got the Bosch Kiox there and also runs a Garmin on the bike as well. So we've now moved on from, from the noise and now we've been smoked out. But there's a lovely uh, smell, of, uh, smell of wood off that fire, I have to say. Uh, right, you might have noticed one thing we haven't spoken about yet, and that is the frame, motor and battery on this bike. Um, the Prowler's got a full carbon front end and an uh, aluminium swing and arm, including the chainstay and the seat stay. Really like the protection on that lower chainstay there. Battery-wise, uh, we've got a 625 watt of battery and, of course, that magnificent Bosch uh, fourth generation motor on the bike. 
Um, Tiago, one final question. 180 mil up front, 170 on the back. Is, is that the optimum amount of travel for EW, uh, EWS racing? Uh, I think not the best option because I think it's too much for race. But at the same time, you have some hard stage. But for the uphill, for example, it's better you have uh, low low shocks and low suspension to yeah. to keep the grip and it be didn't more seem, easy. It didn't seem to be holding you back yesterday, I have to say. <laughs> He was actually sitting down on the climbs while I was yeah. standing up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, some of the EWS racing, I mean, like Finale, for example, there's some big, you know, big rocks in yeah. some of these stages, right? Yeah, that, that's why it's sometimes you see some guys put a strap on the, on the fork yeah. to put the fork more low to the ground. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Thiago. Uh, now we're going to join uh, Laura Charles to see, I mean, it's, it's virtually the same bike, but Laura's actually got a few changes to her bike. We've got it all here. We've got it all here in uh, Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> no idea what he's saying. He say you you can leave the you you can go with the uh, with the goats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as if by magic, all the way from Clermont-Ferrand is Laura Charles. Laura, have you actually got over last year yet? It was a pretty full-on season for you riding EWS and EWSE, right? Yeah, I ride uh, both. I start to race a normal bike and uh, in the middle of the season, I, I would like to try e-bike. So let's try. Yeah, and then you, went, you started off by winning two of the EWSE races. Yes, I start for the, with the West, you know, it's a World Cup uh, cross country and it was good and uh, when I go in the uh, on the World Series, I was with my e-bike and I just asked my team manager if I can race both and he said, okay, if you want and so let's go. <laughs> so needless to say then, you, you're pretty into it. Yeah, it's super hard to race both, but... Yeah, of course, you, your background is, is cross-country racing as well, right? Uh, yes, when I was young, I started uh, to practice cross-country cross during 14 years. And so it was good. So it's not easy with the e-bike. Yeah, so this, this year then, for 2022, I understand you're just riding EWSE, correct? You're just doing e-bike races, right? Yes, I, I will uh, race uh, the world season uh, in e-bike. Okay, Laura, pretty much the same bike as Tiago's bike, except you're riding a size medium. How tall are you? Uh, 169. Okay, right. Um, right, what are the main differences on Laura's bike to Tiago's then? Now, obviously, maybe the suspension setup's different. Um, but first of all, what's this mudguard you've got up front there? What does AP4 mean? Uh, this uh, is the mudguard, it's a special edition from my uh, one of my good friends, Amory Perron. Oh, he wow. rides uh, downhill and he gives me uh, to and tell me uh, it's to be more fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, lucky... Uh... What, what, what a guy to tell you that. <laughs> uh, now I notice up front here you've got some new Ergon grips, quite like those. Yes, I like this grip, it's a small grip and uh, I like uh, the colour of the grip. It's the same that my uh, frame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ergon seat on here. Now, is that that's not is that the e-bike model? It is right. That's the SM10 e-mountain bike seat on there. Um, tire pressures, uh, same tires as, as Tiago's. What pressures do you normally run on the bike? Uh, 1.3 and 1.4. Uh, what's worth noticing, guys, is that Tiago runs an insert in the back, but you're just standard tubeless, right? Yeah, I don't have insert inside. Okay, right. Uh, gearing, I know this is also different as well. I think you've got a 34 chain ring up front, but you've got a bigger cassette. Is that yes. a 1052 in the back? 51, is it? and in front is 32. Okay, cool. Um, right, Laura's also got XTR compared to Tiago's XT brakes. Uh, but disc wise, I'm looking at that's a 200 on the back and a 180 on the rear. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I think there's differences. Also, uh, let's look down here at the crank length. Are the these are one fifty fives. One sixty. One sixty. Yeah. Right. And that's the Delta crank as well. Uh, and it's obviously the Miranda crank being the Miranda factory race team. Uh, I'm very pleased to see, Laura, that you've got a uh, good old Renthal handlebar on there. Is that carbon or it's an alloy bar, right? Yeah, it's a uh, iCut. It's a uh, seven fifty because I'm. I'm little harm, so. 
and um, you've got quite a low, there's no rise to it, it's pretty, no. kind of pretty slammed down isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's more like a cross country rider <laughs> and I prefer, I feel more comfortable with this. Paddles wise on the bike, those looks like Crank Brothers Malice to me. Yeah, exactly, I use this because uh, I used since last year and I feel good with this pedal, so yeah. I keep this one. Um, do you, have you ever ridden flat pedals? Yes, uh, sometimes during the winter I put my flat pedals to, to restart the basic, so I like, but not for the race, I prefer. Yeah, oh, the, the dogs are back, <laughs> the dogs are back. <laughs> Uh, you're a ski instructor as well, right? What? You're a ski instructor too? Yeah, exactly. During winter, I ski instructor. Yeah. And I, uh, so it's a good training the, for the bike for the, um, the summer season. Yeah. Uh, Laura, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, looking forward to the season? Yes, thank you very much to be here. And I hope to see you. I tell you what, the grip here is, by the way, the, the rock out here is granite. It's an amazing place to ride bikes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really. It's a good place to ride bikes, so. Let's go. <laughs> Full week for the Miranda Factory race team. So, folks, let us know your thoughts. Any questions about uh, the uh, KTM Prowler 180, 170? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for joining us here in Portugal. Uh, tune in to EMBN for any other e mountain bike related content, whether it be riding, racing, travel, or bikes. See you next time. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. See you.